Well, uh, how's it going, guys? Uh, good afternoon, boys and girls. And uh, I'm bringing you guys over round two is what I would call it of um, a POV on the Camaro ZL1, again, with the 10-speed automatic. We're about to head to Mexico. And I appreciate a lot of the feedback and a lot of the comments you guys have been doing. I hope this camera angle on the POV is, is way better than my first attempt. Again, guys, I'm new to this and I'm trying to figure things out. But um, let's see how this one goes. So the purpose of this video is I had a couple of requests come in uh, through the channel regarding driving the car in case you guys don't know, again, this is a 10-speed automatic ZL1 1LE. Yes, they do make them with the 10-speed automatic. Uh, they started making them, I want to say, in February. Uh, GM announced that the 10-speed was coming out. And uh, I, I think they started producing them sometime in March or April. Uh, and I was immediately, you know, in, interested in the vehicle the minute I found out it was coming out with the 10-speed. But... But the purpose of this video is, as you guys know, most of these Camaro ZL1 1LEs are in manual. That's the way the car was made in uh, 2018. And they changed it up a little bit in 2019 with the auto. I'm gonna drive this car, again, it's automatic, but I'm gonna drive it in manual mode in Mexico. So uh, I'm gonna try to be quiet as the gears are changing. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to do a couple of pulls, some with the windows down, so you guys can hear the downshifts. It downshifts amazingly when uh, when you're pulling her hard. Um, so we're going to test the, the POV again. Uh, we're heading straight to Mexico. We're close to the border. They make great food over there, by the way. Have you guys ever been to Mexico? The food's fantastic. But we're going to test out the 10-speed automatic in... in uh, manual mode kind of weird huh so i can shift her right now if i want so let's go ahead and do that i guess right so i'm gonna go ahead and put her in manual mode so right now i'm on manual mode and it's literally it was on gear nine guys so this thing's a 10 speed and so right now i'm going 45 miles an hour 47 and it was on gear nine right so that lets you know that gm has optimized the gear ratio on this car when you're at a cruise speed to maximize fuel efficiency, right? So it's gonna optimize the highest gear to keep your RPM low. I mean, literally, I'm at 1500 right now, the RPM. Is that crazy? And I'm, I'm running on nine gears, actually eight gears now, it dropped. So that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna go test her out. Uh, she's on manual mode. And so let me just kinda bring her up a little bit. Change to ninth gear doesn't really do much right again I'm gonna try to stay quiet because the purpose of this video is there are some folks out there that are indecisive about between the automatic and the manual and they want to hear the gear, sh gear shifts and I'm gonna test them out for you guys right now to see how fast they actually shift so that's kind of part of the test today and I think we're getting to Mexico uh, yeah, and I think the coast is clear. So let me roll down the windows. I'm gonna do the first drive. Sorry for the wind noise, guys, if it's out there, but uh, oh, let me drop her down. She's, she's down. She's on, uh, got her on one right now. So there's some cars coming, but I have her on one. Man, she shifts really, really fast. Um, like really fast. The minute you click, on the gear selector, right? I mean, that thing shifts so fast, right? So here she goes again. So I'm gonna take this bin right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna downshift it now, watch. Nice. Man, it's too many cars right now, too much traffic. But uh, here we go again. Jesus, all right. So let me, let me put her back in automatic. I'm catching up to traffic. Let me roll the windows up. Again, I don't know that's gonna give you the purpose that you really are looking for. And it's dusty out here. 
It's like a dust storm. Sheesh. And I just washed her. God damn. Do you see guys? You guys see that dust cloud ahead of me? Oh Jesus, man. This is never good because I'm gonna have to wash her again. If you guys are if you guys are familiar with black cars, my goodness. Keeping this thing clean. Golly, so I mean good luck for you guys who are gonna be buying a black vehicle. I mean it is it is the best looking color, no doubt. You can take that to the bank. It is the best looking color. But man, to keep her clean. Oh boy, oh boy. I mean, she gets dirty so quick. So for you guys thinking about buying a ZL1 in black, or, or for any car you're going to be buying black, just know that it, it's it's a nightmare um, just to keep her clean. So I'm going to try to see if I can turn around here. Um, but you can hear the gears. It's just kicking so smoothly, guys. This 10 speed. Again, uh, what I will tell you guys is, you know, I, I owned a, uh, a Hellcat and the Hellcat came with the, um, it actually used to came with the eight speed automatic. And um, I think the eight speed on the Hellcat might be a little bit better than the 10 speed on the Camaro ZL1. I don't know, is that, you know, that Hellcat transmission, man, on that, that uh, a lot of cars are using that auto transmission, by the way, that eight speed. Uh, Dodge is not the only one using it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, guys, I've owned both cars. And don't get me wrong, this 10 speed is great, but it does struggle to find gear sometimes. I I'm not gonna lie to you, man. So here we go, okay, let's drop it again. Let's see. I'm gonna drop all the way down, and here we go. Sheesh. All right, so again, good thing we're in Mexico, and we're allowed to do these kind of things. So she's kind of downshifting a little bit right there. You guys hear it? Let's put her back up a little bit. Let her smooth out the gears a little bit. All right. Here we go. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to be quiet so you guys can listen to the gears, but man, I just get so excited, you know? So we're dropping her here, taking this little bend. We'll keep her on third there on the turn. Spice her up a little bit again. Go all the way to 5,000. Oh, she's spinning. Boom. Let's bring her up a little bit more. Let her run smooth. So we're about to, uh, Let's try her over there maybe. Maybe I have a little bit more freedom on the other side of the expressway. There tends to be a lot less traffic. You know, Mexico can get very crowded around uh, rush hour. Uh, you know, there's a lot of tourists wanting to come to Mexico, Mexico. And um, I have one. Well, that's a big ass Mack truck coming over there. Better watch yourself. So again, I mean, I was comparing the Hellcat as I was talking about earlier. That eight speed, man, I'm not gonna lie to you on the Hellcat is fantastic, guys. It really is. Uh, but this was pretty close. I mean, you're not gonna go wrong with either transmission or either car. They're both fantastic. Uh, let me see if I can do a little roundabout here. I'm gonna stay a little quiet. How long is this video going for? I know I can only have you guys on for a little bit. Oh shit, I'm already at nine minutes. Sheesh. Huh. I'm trying to figure out where would be a better, you know what? I think if I go right here, I might have a better chance here. Let me let this up. Uh, let me let this truck go. All right, let me slow her down. I'm gonna start off from the ground. I'm going around 10 miles an hour here in Mexico. All right, we're going on this unwrap. I'm completely stopped. All right, let's go. So the first gear's kicking. Sheesh. I mean, she will pick up speed, boys. Golly. 
she will pick up speed quick how quick real quick all right I'm gonna go ahead in this video I hope you guys were able to at least hear the shifts they're very quick again I still think the Hellcats um, eight speed might be a tad a tad better not by much just a tad um, man but she's fast so let me just put her back in normal mode and let the car do its own work so there's nobody here neither Mac look at that see nobody's in Mexico guys there's a lot of traffic in certain parts of Mexico but not in all of them so let's get back on the uh, on-ramp she sounds so good I mean she really does so here I'm going like 65 and I'm gonna they say that's the bandwidth of the car 60 60 70 miles an hour when you floor it that's when the car hits its full watch see say that's the bandwidth of the car man that right there when it hits that that 65 70 that's that's where the car gets really happy really really happy she downshifts so awesome man i know it's hard to hear it because i have the windows closed but uh that's it guys i want to provide another pov man look at her she's downshifting right now all right guys peace out enjoy your weekend i'll see you guys next week post on different videos you'll like to see uh, comment, provide some feedback, give some thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever. All right, peace.